This is Kind of Blue by Miles Davis. Easily one of the greatest records of all time, widely considered the greatest jazz record of all time. I listen to this album at least once a week. It's just constantly going. I learned about it in high school when a music teacher recommended it, and I love it. I think it's a masterpiece. But I've never read the back of it until recently. The performers on this album are Miles Davis and six other jazz musicians right here. This blurb on the back is written by Bill Evans. He's the piano player on the record. And in this blurb, he explains that basically the way they made the record was Miles Davis had already sort of outlined the structure of the songs and then they just went for it. He explains that Miles conceived these settings only hours before the recording dates and arrived with sketches which indicated to the group what was to be played. Therefore, you will hear something close to pure spontaneity in these performances. The group had never played these pieces prior to the recordings and I think without exception, the first complete performance of each was a take. Okay, so do you see why that's crazy? This album, the greatest jazz record of all time, one of the greatest albums in general of all time, that I've listened to hundreds of times, was just like crapped out in like a recording session or two. Now, why did that work? Was it luck? Was it randomness? Was it a calculated strategy? This made me rethink how I approach creativity. When you're making something for yourself, and there's no deadline, you can take as long as you want on it, you often take way too long on it. And often you don't even finish. I think we all have projects that we've started that have just sort of fallen by the wayside because we haven't been able to get them to fully work the way that they do in your head. I think it's easy to have an idea and be a perfectionist about it and try to mastermind a masterpiece. I think there's a lot of over-calculating that goes on in the creative process that ends up crippling a lot of us. This is often called analysis paralysis. Overthinking is a huge barrier to productivity, especially in abstract creative endeavors. As a culture, we romanticize this idea of an artist slaving away at a piece of material, getting every single detail exactly perfect, exactly the way they see it in their head. And that's cool and that's fun, and there have been pieces of art that were made that way that are great, but often that is totally the wrong approach. See, if you focus too much on the result, on the art piece that you're making, you get lost in the details and you lose perspective. But on the other hand, if you focus on honing your craft, if you focus on learning technique and learning skills and learning to be competent and efficient, then what happens is the level of quality of everything you make goes up on average. So let's say you're a musician, you're just starting out and you try to make a song. That song is going to suck. It's really going to suck. Your first 10 songs will probably suck. First. 30 songs might suck. But as you learn more about music theory and you learn to play more instruments and you write more songs, you just get better, right? So now as you're writing songs, they still might suck, but on average, they're much better than the first ones you wrote, even when you spend the same amount of effort on them. Now, the musicians on this album, Miles Davis, Bill Evans, John Coltrane, like these guys were masters. They're the, the, the best of the best, right? They were at a totally different level. And because of that, they were able to show up and in a few improvised takes, make some of the best music of all time. They've just done it so many times. Now, as a musician and a filmmaker and a video creator, I think the lesson there is to really focus on improving your craft. Get so good that when you half-ass something, it's still way better than 99% of the stuff that's out there. It's like the difference between being process-oriented and result-oriented. Now, you want the result to be good. You don't want to make something that sucks. But if you focus too much on that end result, it starts working against you. You really need to put systems and processes in place that reliably create art that is good. So when you're making something, don't put all your eggs in that basket. If you're making a song, don't think th this song has to be amazing. Just try to make the next few songs on average better than the last few songs. Now, you're probably not gonna make anything as good as this, but if you pay attention more to the process than the result, you will get much better.